down the street, I guess you could say, from our facility in Tennessee, there's a pipe organ manufacturer. And so I caught wind hmm. of that and I was like, let me just go down there. And so the big thing that I learned when I went down to visit was that the length and diameter of all those pipes are based on formulas that go all the way back to Pythagoras on how they get certain notes. And so I know enough about music. I can play enough piano that I know, you know, combinations of certain notes sound very good together or like on a guitar, right? Like a power chord. Right. They're perfect fifths. Every ACDC song you ever heard is just that interval. Perfect fifths. Yep. That's it. Yep. You know, so I'm like, well, how do we put perfect fifths? Like, what if I take the, the root note and the formula to get the fifth above it, right? Which is just a, a diameter. What if I take that and apply it to exhaust? And so we started building, you know, this stuff with, which have, which have different diameters to try and create one note, you know, like a, like an organ. Right. So this is, this is really organ. This is more of a tuning for yep. sound. For sound. Yep. To, you know, and the idea is to. Very you know, interesting piece. These, uh, the way it grows, you can see how the diameter here is larger than it is here. Mm -hmm. That's how you compensate for what might be a loss in flow by having these individual pipes. So at the end of the day, it flows the same as whatever this inlet and outlet size is, it's, it's gonna flow identical. Um, but we can, we can play around with different diameters in here to get a different note out of it. We call it a polyphonic, which means many sound. You know, poly and phonic is many in sound. So it's, uh, it's numerous notes coming together to make one. Awesome. You know, so that's, that's a big thing we do. And then another thing we started doing recently is um, asymmetrical mufflers. So that's another one too. Really? Where we'll have, um, you know, there's this sort of belief that you have two mufflers in the back of the car, in the middle of the car, they're the same muffler, right? Well, why do they have to be the same muffler? They don't have to be the same muffler. Um, they should probably look the same from the outside. Sure. But the internals of them, you know, a lot of what we do is about tuning out specific frequencies, right? We don't like how this sounds at this RPM. It's driving me nuts. You know, every time I go up the hill on my way home, it just downshifts and it's like, that's killing me. Like I gotta right. get rid of that note. When you, you know? were saying, and I think that gets back to the point that you were saying too, that the banks on these engines yeah. are different. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, why would you, why would you want why two would the you same Why would you use the same on both sides? Exactly, on a dual exhaust like that for sure, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, so we started making two different mufflers to either tune out two different notes or amplify two different notes, you know, and, and they both reach your ear at the same time. So it sounds like one note, you know? So we're trying to break this down into, into all the elements that come together that make the exhaust note. It's, it's very recognizable. Mm -hmm. You're drowning out the ones or, or, or taking care of the ones you don't want to hear and really amplifying, amplifying the ones, the ones you want. It's so crazy that, you know, like I said, I never thought, you know, and, and we've been using this product for so long, I never thought there was that kind of technology behind it. And it's just, it's super eye-opening. It's like I said, just at the beginning of this conversation, like you were saying about paint and stuff like that, the, you know, just the technology and the, and the thinking and the process behind this is just second to none. It's awesome.